In this video, we're going to look at ways of protecting your privacy when using a mobile phone. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos in the future. We post computing related videos all the time. Thanks. How to protect your mobile phone privacy. In this video, we'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S10e, Android version 9. If you're using an iPhone, we have a separate privacy video just for iPhones. The link is in the description below. Let's get started. Our phones are great tools with which we can do so much. We can order food. We can have a share ride service pick us up, pay for gas at the pump, buy products, and much, much more. Unfortunately, there is a price to pay when using some of these opportunities. Privacy. For instance, you can't use a share ride service or fill the gas tank using a phone app without sharing your current location. While it's true that we have to give up some of our privacy if we're going to use a smartphone, there are ways we can limit the information we give to others. Let's look at some ways we can prevent apps from knowing too much about us. One. Go through your phone and remove any apps that you are absolutely not using. Keep in mind, there are some manufacturer apps you can't remove. But if you installed something and no longer use it, delete it. On your Android phone, go to Settings. Once the new window opens, scroll down and find Apps. Tap to open. Here, you'll find all your apps. Let's click on the Best Friends app and then tap on Uninstall. When we do, we are asked to verify that we want to remove the app. If we click OK, the app is gone. 2. Once you've removed unused apps, take a look at the apps you do use and check what information they can learn about you. If you have an app that is excessive in what it collects, Get rid of it. Let's look at the Chrome app. Notice that this app cannot be uninstalled, only disabled. Scrolling down to Permissions, we see that this app is allowed to know our location. Tapping, we see all the possible permissions that we can turn on or off. Next, let's check out Contacts. Here we see that notifications are allowed, and when we tap, we see all our options. Switching to our Amazon app, let's see what permissions we can allow. While currently no permissions are on, you can see the various options we could turn on if we needed to. 3. Make sure your apps are up to date. While phones normally do this automatically, I have occasionally found a slew of apps with updates that were not installed. Updates are important and very often security related. There are two places to check for updates. First, go to Settings. Scroll down to Software Updates and tap. The phone will check for updates. If none are needed, you can move on to the second update area. If there are updates, you should install them. Next, go to the Google Play Store app. Tap the three horizontal lines in the upper left-hand corner, then open My Apps and Games. The phone will check for updates. If none are found, you're good to go. If there are apps needing updating, go ahead and perform that task. Number four, don't download and install apps you haven't researched. Find some reviews on the app, and if the reviews aren't good, don't install it. Number five, be very leery of PHAs. Those are potentially harmful apps. These are usually apps that come from places other than the App Store or the Google Play Store. Number six, if you're installing a new app and it wants you to sign in with a social media account like Google or Facebook, be careful as the app will have access to much of your personal information that is stored on the social media site. For privacy reasons, 
you might be better off just creating a normal account and not using your social media account. Number seven, be careful what you do on public Wi-Fi, like at airports, etc. If you need to use public Wi-Fi often, install a VPN on your phone and access your information through that. And finally, number eight, don't use public charging station cords or adapters. If you need to charge your phone in a public place, like an amusement park or an airport, use your own cord and use a data adapter like the one in our privacy kit, and that allows only the charge to go through and not data. You'll find a link for our privacy kit in the description below. That's it for this video. If you have questions, please use the comment area below. Check our links down in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching our video.